Everyone's raving about Photoshop's generative tool, but is that the only thing you can use AI on your photos for? I'll tell you what else you can use in just a minute. While you're watching this, Allison, why don't you hit subscribe? We've been wanting to see you here. AI is obviously here to stay when it comes to photography, and it's been a huge help to me as a wedding and portrait photographer, being able to create off the fly things that weren't actually in the photograph, as well as take away things that were in the photograph that I just don't want. A lot of us have been talking about Photoshop. That's an obvious one, but I want to point out a different tool that I actually love a little bit more because of the other capabilities that now has both of that erasing distractions in the photo feature, as well as creating something that wasn't there and understanding how to plop it in. So it doesn't look like back in the day when we plopped in clip art like this. I'm talking about Luminar Neo. Luminar Neo has been around for quite some time. I've created videos about this before and how it's helped me really enhance a photograph, everything from dropping in gorgeous skies, starry sunsets, as well as things like pulling out detail from highlights, working with raw photos and being able to adjust like that mid-tone contrast. And then other AI functions like uh, Magic Light, where it's Starburst, all the lights in your photos. I've also loved using their denoise. They're super sharp and a lot of other different things, including relight. You can completely relight a scene with this program, but the tools I want to focus on are gen erase and gen swap. If you haven't seen them before, I'll give them to you in a nutshell. Gen erase is where you can erase things from your photograph that you find to be distracting. Lord knows there's tons of that when it comes to weddings and portraits, especially weddings where I just can't move things around or like you're about to see. Uh, I certainly can't change the landscape. And then we have Gen Swap, where you're basically swapping in items, AI items, birds, skies, castles, you name it, adding to your photograph to enhance it. So let's just dive in and I'll show you what I got. So one of the easiest things that you're going to want to be able to do is Gen Erase. So this photo right here, I absolutely adore this photo. I didn't really do much to it as far as anything else AI. I thought it was good off the bat, but down here, there's construction because Via Antonia, love this place. It's 15 minutes from my house, but here they're doing construction. I think they're creating a pond or something. And the owner of the venue actually said to me, hey Vanessa, you didn't get like our construction project, did you? I'm like, oh, I guess I did. Uh, but now let's just see. So over here, these generative tools, I'm gonna go for Gen Erase. That's the one that's gonna work with this. We have our slider. I wanna make sure that we just paint in. There's no learning curve. I honestly just learned this about five minutes before hitting record. You're just gonna paint this in right there. Of course, you can zoom in and out your photograph if you need to, you know, to get really into the detail. I just have it fit to screen. And then you're just going to hit erase and all of the magical little unicorns are going to come out and they're going to do wonderful things to your photograph in order to hide the pet project. Now, this takes some time to do because it is using AI engines and it's not something that's as simple as changing the exposure. So. You see it's still working. That's pretty standard when it comes to AI, whether you're taking something out or you're adding something in. So there we go, right there. Uh, it's filled this in for me pretty well. If you don't like it, you can of course hit reset selection down here, or you can hit erase again, and it's going to come up with something different. So you have a lot of possibilities. Now, just some tips real quick. When you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you're painting enough of the surface. I actually am looking at this and realizing, I don't think I painted enough, but uh, I think we'll just go with what we started with so we can move on to some other items. While I sit my Photo Insider's cup. If you don't know what Photo Insider's is, well, look at the description. Where have you been? Okay, so this looks okay, but it's not, you know, actually it does look fairly natural. But what I wanna do, so you see how I didn't really get everything over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit reset selection. I'm gonna come back and I'm just gonna paint a little bit more. Now you'll notice I'm doing it on top of what it already had. Um, so you can layer this. I'm going to hit erase again. So see, this is what it already did. If I hit my icon tool, the little eye tool, that was a before. That was its first pass. And honestly, that looks really natural to me. I'm just curious to see what happens if I paint over that and hit erase again, widening my selection to just see if it does something different. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. This is interesting. 
I don't know if I like this better. So this one, they created a path for me. Huh. I kind of like the path, although no, I lied. It's a little bit distracting. So I'm just gonna hit undo and then we got the one we have. So I'm gonna stick with that. I'm gonna hit save and let's move on to something else. So when you go back to catalog, you'll notice over here, it separates your generative creations into a separate folder versus like my all photos folder right here. It still has the original photo just there and it's not uh, edited. So you can always go back to your previously edited photographs. Let's try to find something a little bit more typical. So this is a really good example where we've just got some mess on the floor down here. So I'm gonna hit Gen Erase. We're gonna come in here, get rid of that little mess, that little mess. And you can do this um, repetitively. There's like a little dot here. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good right there. So just doing a basic cleanup. Let's see how it does. Now I will say that Luminar asks you to do one thing at a time, but you know what? Who listens to the rules anyway? Let's just push it to its limits. And I did three little spots at the same time. Let's see what happens. All right. So let's see. Yeah. Did a pretty good job. Just got rid of that mess. Let's look at the before and the after. Pretty, pretty easy right there. Getting rid of that little bit of the mess. Um, we can also do a deselect and maybe like, okay, I didn't need what it did there and take that out. So now we got our before and our after. Of course, we can go again and hit erase. All right, let's do something more interesting. I'm just going to hit cancel for the sake of going back to all my catalog photos. So let's give the gen swap a try, shall we? I've got this red rock engagement shoot, one of my favorite photos, and I just want to add a little bit more to the background. What I'm thinking is maybe birds flying in the distance, something like that. So let's give it a try. Click on gen swap. I'm going to paint in the area that I want this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm starting to laugh in my head because I'm like, maybe I'll add some mountain goats. No, let's just do some birds. A flock of birds right here. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, and let's go ahead and deselect right there. Don't need to add birds on the ground. That would be dead birds. All right, and there are our birds flying. All right, let me hit cancel on that one and go back to all of our images. I want one that's going to be something really, I don't know, realistic that I would do. Maybe we can work with this photo right here. I think this has potential for both things. Uh, I need to get rid of whatever this is in the back as well as maybe we can add a little something. So let's start with Jenny Race. And we're going to erase this. We're going to try to do both things on one photo. Erase whatever that distracting element is right there. And I don't know what I could add to this. What should we add to this? Maybe a little... I feel like this is a good example of how I would just be using Luminar normally because they have a lot of the things that I would do to this photo. So maybe I'll just play around in there for a second, but let's go ahead and erase that distracting part and see what else we can add. Great, totally erased there. Uh, and again, if you're not happy with the result, you can always hit erase again and let it regenerate as something that's a little bit more to your liking, but that looks okay for me for now. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And while you're in here, you can also hit uh, gen swap and like work on the next thing. So if I were going to gen swap something here, I don't even know what I would do looking at this photo. I wonder if it would work if I just added a choker. Oh, this might be dangerous. Black choker necklace. necklace. Oh my gosh, my typing skills. Oh, cool. All right, I like that. That's fun. All right, let me hit save. And then I wonder in my creations, is that going to have a second? Yeah, so it has the first one here without the choker and then the one with. So now from here, I want to actually go into edit and just do the things that I normally would have done to this photo anyway. So I'm probably going to go down to atmosphere and I'm going to give it some fog, layered fog. So it's more towards the bottom, maybe more of a mist or a haze. Yeah, I think I'd like the layer fog. Yeah, there we go. So we get some more on the bottom. Then let's go ahead. You know, one of my favorite ones here is just this enhance button right there. 
Oh, that's awesome. This is using AI as well. We don't want to do anything to the sky, but I am going to go to portrait. Mm, do we need more bokeh? I don't think we do. Nah, we don't want to go that crazy. I kind of like that have a little bit. Yeah, we're going to leave that as it is, but let's go ahead to the face. We're going to add some face light. We're going to brighten the eyes. Make sure we have nice white eyes. Iris Enhancer. I mean, Julian has awesome eyes as it is. Take away any red. We can improve eyebrows if we want to darken them. Really a lot of fun. And then add some more lip saturation if we need, but I don't think we do. Let's hit skin. We can, we do have a good amount of shine. So let's get the shine removal going. Yeah, now I got that shine right off her nose. So you can see before and after. Yeah, see underneath that cheekbone and everything right here just got a lot better. And if we want to do anything with the body, we can, but Juliana does not need anything. I don't think anybody needs anything. Okay, super contrast. This is one of my favorites. So in the highlights contrast, look how I can like bring back those highlights. So there's, that's the after, before, before, after, and I can really bring that. And I'm working, I'm pretty sure with a JPEG here. So imagine what you could do if this were raw. So all together, that's what we have. And then if you want the total before, here we go, before and after, and not including obviously the choker that we added, but that's just the regular program and what I would use it for. Let's zoom in just to her face so you can see before, after. Ooh, Vanessa, that is not as sharp as it should be. Ooh, hold on back up to studio sharp super sharp let's go mid all right that was a little too much for me so i'm gonna hit low see if i can get it a little bit better a little bit more realistic oh yeah that was much much better so looking at our before and after much more realistic sharpening that's perfect so that's it. That is Luminar Neo with their brand new AI features, Gen Swap, giving you the capabilities to add to and enhance your photograph, as well as Jenny Race in there to take away distractions. Let me know how you've experimented with AI anything, whether you're using Luminar or not. And of course, you've got a 10% off code down below. If you have any tips on using the new features in Luminar Neo, we would love to hear them. See you next time.